Okay, well, the beauty of the digital age is, of course, is that all these times when I have these flights and write in the diary, they used to write in the diary 20 years ago and say, you'd have to see this thing to believe this thing. Well, you can now see these things to believe these things. This, man, these things are awesome. I'm going to think that the sun going away was a blessing. And, of course, they're a little camera shy. <laughs> Dude, that happens every time. It's like as soon as I turn the camera on, they decide to like, well, I'm not going to fly. Even though it just flew like, you know, 60 yards away from me the last flight. Yep, see? Duplication. It's shy now. It may have something to do with the fact that I'm holding the camera. I don't think so. I think it's just being a bugger head. The wind did pick up. I don't know if you can hear that. The microphone's kind of skinny, but it usually picks that up. But these things are just dogging it out here. I mean, there's the hangar. You know, I'm a good distance away. This one's going to go back to the hangar. Bomb it. <laughs> and I still, you know, I mean, these are respectable flights anyway. Don't get me wrong. It's just the ones you're... I'm sorry, I'm not recording the whole time. I can't really... I don't want to do that. But... <sighs> If this is set up to just record, which I may just do one day, I could come out here and just set the teapot up and record the entire session. I'd be like, this is freaking awesome. This one here has been doing some pretty miraculous things, flying almost all the way to that bush line out there, which we're in the um, softball field here, so we're in outfield, and I, I'm guessing the bushes are past like the 400 yard mark, or yeah, 400 feet mark from there, but... I don't know. All I do know, this thing is rocking it. When it doesn't corkscrew. Why it's corkscrewing right now? We'll be back after these messages.